Okay, we're gonna do two examples on how to use Boyle's Law. Okay, so um, here we have a sample of helium gas in a balloon is compressed from 4.0 liters to 2.5 liters at constant temperature. If the initial pressure was 3.0 atm um, at 4 liters, what is the new pressure at 2.5 liters? So here's Boyle's Law expression, P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a list of variables here. So let's put it over here. P1 equals V1 equals P2 equals and V2 equals. Um, I do this to keep track of our variables because as you go through other gas law problems, we'll have more variables. So it's important we kind of manage that to make sure we're not making any, any mistakes. So pressure, uh, pressure one is going to be 3.0 ATM. And volume one, uh, my initial volume is four liters because that's what I'm starting out with. And I can see that it goes from four liters to 2.5 liters. So I'm gonna put 2.5 liters as my V2. And my P2 is gonna be uh, is my X, which we're solving for. Okay, so I plugged in all my variables. Um, one of the most important things is to make sure that you have the same units. If you have any units that are different, you're gonna have to convert. Um, I have liters for volume one and liters for volume two, so that's good. Uh, my pressure is ATM, so that means my answer will be an ATM. So I just double check. So if there's different units, you're going to have to convert one to another. All right, so I'm now going to plug into the formula, and I notice here I need to solve for P2. So P2 is the variable I have to isolate by itself, and the way I do that is I'm going to divide both sides by V2. VQ will cancel out and I'm left with the expression P1 times V1 divided by V2 equals P2. All right, so now I'm going to plug in everything. So 3.0 ATM times V1, which is 4.0 liters. Divide this by V2, which is 2.5 liters. Oops. And there we go. We're all set up. Now I'm going to use my calculator to solve. Um, I have 3.0 times 4.0. And then I got to divide that by 2.5. And I get an answer to be 4.8 liters. So, uh, liters, yep, 4.8 ATM. Now, is it consistent with Boyle's Law? Um, as my pressure is going up, my volume is going down. So that's consistent with Boyle's Law. OK, second example. Uh, the pressure of a sample of helium in a 1.00 liter container is 643 torr. So torr is a unit of pressure. Uh, what is the new volume? So we want to know what the new volume is if the sample pressure is increased to 800 torr. All right, again, now I have my expression here. I'm gonna make a list of variables. Uh, so I'll make my list over here. P1 equals uh, 643 torr. Uh, my V1, P2, and V2. Okay, my new volume, what is the pressure of a sample of helium? So I have a V1 is going to be 1.0 liters. Um, my P2 is 800 torr. And we're looking for a, a new volume. Uh, my pressures are both in torr, so that's good. Didn't have to convert anything. My volume is in liters, so that means my answer will be in liters. I need to isolate V2 from this expression. So in order to do that, I got to buy both sides by P2. P2 will cancel out. I'm left with P1 times V1 divided by P2 equals my V2. So I'm ready to plug in all my numbers. Uh, P1 is 643 torr times V1, which is going to be 1.0 liters. Divide this by... Uh, P2, which is going to be 800 torr. And everything's set up correctly. Everything's plugged in correctly. So now I'm going to plug this in my calculator. 
So 643 times 1.00 divided by 800. And we get an answer to be, uh, since we're going to 3, we'll point, I'll just round to the hundreds place for the sake of space, 0 0.80, and it's going to be liters. All right, so uh, is it consistent with uh, Boyle's Law? As my pressure is going up, my volume is going down, 1.0 to 8.0, so it's consistent with Boyle's Law, and that is the correct answer.